Hey guys, D Willis here, and in today's video, I kind of want to give you an overview of Mid Journey. In my last video, I talked a little bit about my preferred AI art tool, and it is Mid Journey. You can definitely try it out for free. I am going to leave a link below, but of course, you know your girl. This is part of my tech stack. When I get into diva mode, it is over, right? So I want to go ahead and take you on a, a little tour of some AI art that I created. And there's so many things that I can do with this art and different ways that I can make money digitally and passively just from using the AI art tool now i want to hit you with a little disclaimer before we dive in and you actually see um, my archive first things first ai art is beautiful okay second in order for you to use the ai art to make money you must be a paid member okay it is illegal you cannot use the art Plus, you won't be able to get it big enough in size to even use, right? So you want to have a paid membership to this. I'm not an affiliate of Mid Journey, just to let you know. Uh, they do not have an affiliate program as of the recording of this video. But I want to share these tools with you anyway, because it's a way that you can make money. Okay, so let's dive on in. Okay, guys, you are now looking at my mid journey. This is my archive. These are all the different graphics that I came up with inside of mid journey. I've come up with so many. I've played with this in so many ways. Guys, this is all the art that I created from prompts. Okay, so I really like this one. One of these is going to be my tattoos, okay? But anyway, moving forward. <laughs> okay, I kind of want to go over this, this waterfall with the cheetah kind of look, right? So I upscaled this one because I like this one the best. But since I'm in my archive, what I want to do is go into my Discord. Now, I created my own server within MidJourney, so that way I'm not in the general chat along with other people. Because, like, if you make things, these are other people are making these things, guys. They're making these graphics, right? So, if you're in here, then why your graphic is rendering, other people could be rendering too. And so, you have to scroll back up to yours. So, I just created a private server on mine so that I can do this privately and it's only my graphics. But let's look at this upscale right here. Now, with the way the images work within Midjourney, this four by four image here is only 512 by 512 pixels. Now, when you upscale the image for the first time, okay, then it makes it, um, 1024 by 1024 in size but I need need this even bigger than that so this new beta upscale redo that sizes this image up to a 2048 by 2048 so that's 2048 pixels by 2048 pixels so I am going to let you see me do this I do not know how fast it's going to go but what I'm going to do is upscale this here by clicking upscale. So now it's waiting to start the job and it's going to be upscaling this image. Now, while mid journey is doing its thing, know that it can take some time because it's making the image a, a larger image, a 2048 uh, by 2048 in size. This allows me to make a big image. I can create a poster out of it. I can create a puzzle out of it. I can turn it into a shower curtain, a blanket, a throw blanket. And this is how I kind of do my print on demand. I can make it a cover of a book. I can make it a cover, cover of a notebook. I can do so many things. I can make it the cover of a planner. I mean, there's so many things I can do with this, guys. And it's coming up now. 
up oh, it is done so let's dive back into the computer so now that it did it it did the upscale beta what i would do is click it and then it says open in the browser oh look how detailed you see the fur sticking up off of there now it will allow me to open it in the browser so now when i click i can save this image as and then i can save this image and create a whole poster out of this image i can turn it into wall art i can do so many different things with this image and it's custom to me okay this is an original image if you have any worries about any images you can also save it and drop it into google check it things like that but from what i found so far these images are unique because you the one that put in the prompts unique prompts to make it okay to design it all right so with that being said this is kind of an overview of what mid journey is all about when you first come in here though if you do whether you're in the general area or in your own server you will start by putting imagine prompt and then you can say um uh create a picture of a turtle on a beach with waves coming on shore with butterflies and then press enter now what mid journey would do is it's going to create it's going to take my prompt of taking a picture of a turtle on a beach with waves coming on shore with butterflies so <laughs> i just came up with that off the top guys you will want to make your prompts more detailed on what you want get very very detailed as possible so as you see it's at 62 percent it's at 93 percent and then now it's going to be done okay so now check this out we can open this up and we can kind of look at it now the way this grid is made this is one the first quadrant so that's one two three and four these u stands for upscale the v stands for variation so you can make various ones of the one you want so do you want to upscale number one number two number three or number four or do you want variations of number one number two number three or number four and again it goes one two three four so in our case i want to look at it it made me a butterfly turtle right here that's not what i was looking for this is more of what i was looking for something like this or more something like this so about one or two so what i'm going to do is i'm gonna pick number one I don't want to upscale it. I want various versions of number one. So now what Mid Journey is going to do, Mid Journey is going to make four of number one, four different variations of the number one. So now it is rendering the images. And let's see what it comes up with. Okay, so now we have different variations of number one. So as you can see, the waves look different. We got something going over here. See, that is different. Um, it would not be the same as this one. Okay, this one is by itself. These are four different ones. So that's like five in total. So we can kind of see the difference. This butterfly is different from over here. This wave is different from all the other waves. This wave is different as well. The butterflies are all different okay let's see if there's any differentiation in the turtle the turtle is different look at the markings on the turtle the markings on the turtle is different so you really need to pay attention the head the face how many little dots on the side of the eye those look different as well as some rocks right here and there's some rocks right here but the rocks on the sand look different so then at this point you pick whichever one you want in my case, I am going to roll with the number four. So I will upscale number four. Now, if I wanted another variation of one of these, I would click that. But I'm going to upscale number four. 
So remember when I upscale it for the first time, it turns it into a 1024 by 1024 size. If I want it bigger, which you want the max size, especially if you're going to do print on demand or get this printed on something, you want the maximum size you can get. So that would be the beta redo. Okay. And that's once it starts. Now, guys, I'm not going to sit here and wait for it to start because at the beginning, I already showed you how it, how to upscale it, do the beta uh, upscale redo and how to save it. But that gives you an idea of how mid journey works. So if you like content like this, feel free to like and subscribe to my channel. I always keep it real with you, okay? Um, plus, it helps out with the algorithm for YouTube, and it shows other people how they can use Mid Journey to make AI art as well. And this is my preferred tool to use for the art, opposed to Jasper AI's art, okay? Because I've tried that too. I really like Mid Journey's art better. So that's my analysis on that. Of course, you can also try Jasper AI art as well during your free trial. You can try that out. I'll provide all the links to everything below so you can check them out. But do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel, okay? I will see you in the next video. Bye.